Xavier Harris with that story. In New York, Columbia University called in police to end the pro-Palestinian protesters occupation on that New York campus. Shortly after nine tonight, police wearing helmets and carrying zip ties and riot shields masked at the university's entrance. Officers breached the administration building, Hamilton Hall, to clear out the structure. Demonstrators had occupied that building more than 12 hours. Now it spread their reach from an encampment that's been on campus for nearly two weeks. College students all over the country are being met with heavy police presences and warnings of disciplinary action. A peaceful protest has been underway at the University of the South, or Sewanee. Local 3's Jeremiah Beatty has been covering this story. Here's, it. Here's her report. This chant rang out across the University of the South. More than 1,700 students attend the university. This group represents the less than 5% of the student body participating in a sit-in at the All Saints Chapel. They are demanding the university and Greenview Capital to divest and show solidarity. A student who spoke with us off camera said the school isn't being transparent about where the money is going. The student says they don't believe university dollars should be invested in companies supplying the war. We found listed on Greenview Capital's website, the student run investment club manages a portion of the university's more than $3 million endowment. Their portfolio shows current investments in Honeywell and Boeing, both aerospace companies. The students claim both entities supply weapons to aid the attack on Gaza. A student at Swanee says the school's honor code should align. I think we need to be more efficient in our current world issues and then combining that with our effort. Some people plan to spend the night on the church roof, locking themselves in and camping out. I think that this moment with us taking this church um, can really begin a new era of the university where instead of being politically silent, we stand up to injustice. Their efforts were met with some pushback. Why are we blocking the door? He appeared frustrated with the signs posted all over the church. My experience is going into the house of God and you're blocking that in the same premise that you're saying that we're blocking something else. While many question the students' presence at the chapel, those participating in the demonstration say the university's vice chancellor listened to their concerns and supported students expressing their First Amendment rights. This email was also sent out to students. The university respects students and employees' right to gather and express opinions. The email said as the demonstration goes on, the university will continue to monitor the gathering. As for those standing in support of Palestine. We stand for peace unequivocally. At the end of the day, uh, we will always uh, stand in the name of love. I think we need to be more efficient in our current world issues and then combining that with our eff effort.